You know, some of the feedback is not specific to the website. It's more anecdotal when we're talking to people and they, you know, the, sure. question, the type of questions they ask us, the things they want to know about the brand. Um, you know, there are lots of different definitions of clean beauty. So I'll give you one example of something that we did. Mm -hmm. um, I've had people say to me, well, if you're really clean, you wouldn't have fragrance um, because there are a lot of, uh, right. There, you know, it's tricky. You know, um, we follow EU standards and whole food standards, which are quite aggressive when it comes mm -hmm. to clean beauty. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a very strong believer that, especially in hair care, people want a, a nice scent. Um, so what we had to do is just qualify our fragrance because like legally on your package, you only have to say fragrance. What consumers don't realize is that many fragrances actually have phthalates in them and they have chemicals and are synthetic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, a clean beauty purist is going to call that out. Now we went to the steps to make sure that our fragrance was actually naturally derived and phthalate free. So as clean as it can be, but I, I actually added that, <laughs> that statement into our ingredient list because people were questioning that. That's a really good uh, point. Especially because you're in a, I guess, a controversial segment where people are very, very passionate about this topic, right? Like I think people who really embrace clean living have really done so. So I guess they can be pretty critical. Yeah. And it's, it's like I said, it's really hard because there's no standard definition in the U S of what clean beauty is. Um, and the U.S. is so far behind the EU in terms of the, you know, the number of ingredients that are banned and whatnot. So um, you just have like a really big spectrum of how people talk about it. So anyway, so that was just one piece of, you know, when I got that feedback, we're like, oh, we should put it on the website to be clear so that we can circumvent questions people have around our fragrance. Um, and that has helped. I have gotten almost no questions about the fragrance since we did that. Um, but yeah, um, so I, you know, we're, we're tweaking based on, like I said, you know, if I, if I have anecdotal feedback, uh, on just about any, any topic, you know, how it works with curls, um, product formulation feedback, questions around Macabu, our ingredient questions around recycling. That's another one we actually added. We had some people questioning um where where they can recycle the packaging and we actually added this point about uh target because if you act if you have a target nearby which most people probably do mm -hmm. they actually have oh, i'm not going to search for it now but they actually have um in the front of their store recycle bins that you can bring your stuff if, if like your local municipality doesn't recycle certain types of plastic like where I live in Massachusetts, you can't bring black plastic. I don't know right. why, but that's just one of their, you know, there's just certain, and, and you'll find that that's the case at a lot of, a lot of places. So Target will take those and put them in the right place, find the, you know, right way to recycle it. So just, you know, again, adding, adding that kind of detail um, so that people can find it. And then as we've, you know, grown, we've also just, you know, had to build out, uh, you know, our press section um, when we get covered. And this is only, you know, two months, two months worth. Um, well done. Yeah. And then also, you know, where people can find it. So we've been, these are the two locations that I mentioned. And we have a salon that we just um, are in now as well. So this is constantly evolving, but those are those are important for people that want to know, okay, it sounds great. And I like the reviews, but I want to smell it myself. I want to, you know, mm -hmm. people get, they, they want to, they want to try and they want to touch it and smell it and feel it and all that. Is there any feedback that you got from customers that surprised you that, you know, sort of went against what you originally thought and made you have to change something? Well, yeah. One of the things I'll point it out is this packaging, which people love, Mm -hmm. um, I've had several customers that say, I don't like having to pour it out of the bottle because it's awkward in the shower. I have to take the cap off and then I pour it out. So we actually made a pump, which is this, um, right. that if, if you really are somebody who, you know, doesn't like 
like that. Um, and I'd say about half of our customers will buy the pump to go along with it. I mean, at some point I may make the pump not an extra, but just that's the standard thing you get. But we wanted to test out, you know, the, um, the demand for that type of format. 